We begin with the latest developments and a mother murder investigation. Only our cameras were rolling as the Narragansett man accused of killing and dismembering his own mother appeared in court today. Robert Taylor entered his plea to a long list of gruesome charges from the South County Mobile Newsroom. Eyewitness News reporter Todd Wallace is live for us now in South Kingstown. Mike and Susan. Allison Taylor died almost seven months ago. Today, her son Robert was arraigned for her murder. One of her neighbors says she is still shocked and shaken by her death. I think it's horrible, absolutely horrible. The gruesome crime at the Caswell Street Apartments last May still haunts Candy Prescott. Oh my God, it's, there's no words for it. There are no words for it, it's so horrible. Police say 46-year-old Robert Taylor killed his mother, Allison Taylor, and left her remains in a dumpster outside her Caswell Street apartment. Taylor's attorney entered a not guilty plea today for charges including first-degree murder and mutilation of a dead body, two weeks after a grand jury indicted him. Everybody around here felt it deeply. Candy didn't know Robert and never saw him, but she was Allison's neighbor. Allison would wave at me, or sometimes she'll talk to me through the window. Mm -hmm. She was mainly home, homebound. Candy says home hasn't been the same. Several months have passed, but the memory of that day is still painfully vivid. Oh, my God, I was in shock. What happened to her? Everybody was in shock. Nobody wanted to go to the dumpster. I mean, everybody was, like, paranoid, like, and my heart goes out to whoever found her. And Robert Taylor's next court appearance is for a pre-trial conference on January 6th. Reporting live with the South County Mobile Newsroom, Todd Wallace, Eyewitness News.